Hello everyone. This is my third video of the series ready to progress curve of the for the project. In my two videos, I explained how we extract early and late values directly from Primera using the report techniques for uh, for the budgeted costs and assigned resources or efforts. I will link the uh, the, uh, the I will link I will provide the the this link in the description. If anyone interested to watch these videos, you can go in the description and watch these videos. The scope of this video is related to the generating the progress curve itself. So as I explained in my previous two videos that when we are making the weekly and monthly curves directly from the Primavera, Primavera gives us the values at the end of the week or at the end of the month. Month normally is not an issue, but normally weekly is a percentage or values are affected because the weekly values we are getting from Primavera is the end of the week and the week already we define in the settings of the Primavera and what is happening actual in the actual life of the project that our uh, we are making the project status report or weekly report based on the client or consultant instructions and date or based on the weekly progress meetings so suppose that our meeting is held on every Thursday and we are supposed to make the update of any, every Wednesday. So in this case, uh, we are getting the progress uh, schedule percentage complete end of Wednesday, whereas our progress curve, which we generate from the Primavera, shows you the values at the end of Saturday. If our working, our, if our uh, week is start from Monday to Saturday, so our values of the plan percentage will be the at the end of Saturday, and whereas. We are computing the we are updating actually end of Wednesday. So in this case, these two values will be differ from each other, and which may sometime the client or consultant they may they, they raise the issue why these two values are not coinciding. To avoid this in the future, better to make the progress curve directly from the daily values, and uh, and then in this case, our actual plan values shown in the primary will match with the in the progress curve. So this is the values we are getting from the our previous two video, uh, videos and this is the based on the cost and this is based on the resources. Here we see that we calculated, we computed the percentage cumulative early and late percentages for both cost and resources. Here you see that we have some formulas here and even in the dates I have, we have some good formulas here and so our project start in 1st July and our we have updating on every Wednesday and our meeting is on every Thursday. So we need the percentage at the end of every Wednesday. These are the values. So other values we don't need. So what we'll do, we delete these other values. Before deleting this, we just select everyone, press Control C and then Control 1 to 3, press values. In this case, there are no more formulas there. Now you can remove the other unnecessary data from here like for example saturday to tuesday is not required we just go and delete these values similarly again th thursday to next tuesday we can delete if you want to repeat the previous command just press f4 it will repeat the command similarly we remove all these data here we are deleting all now this is the remaining values from thursday to next Tuesday, just press F4 to repeat the previous command, and this is our last value of the week of the project, and this is end of the project, 31st December. So you see, we make the every Wednesday now. Now the first week, when the first status meeting held for the project, we see that the early plan is 0.79 and late plan is 0.2. So what we'll do here, we just remove unnecessary data from here. And this is rows from here. Just make it press shift control down arrow, and then shift control right arrow. It will select up to the end of the values. You can see no need to scroll up to this. You can do it directly from shift control up right, left, or whatever you require. Then press control V, control one to make the format cell data box. Just make this border and then make it. Can see just press two three keys you can select all data in one go just make it something as per your 
this requirement just fill it Just make this as a description or where dates. Okay, just make it in the middle. Press Ctrl V and make it rep text. Now we have the data with us. You can see the data is available with us. Just we select Shift Ctrl down arrow, Shift Ctrl right arrow to select all the data when it go. You have this control quick analysis just press the quick analysis it will give you a uh, immediate option available press chart and make line now our line chart is generated like this so you just make it properly on the place and then just make it to suit your requirement that you fill in the page properly Just make the title plan progress curve based on BOQ cost. Just make it bold here. Now data here, then you can just add the project name. Whatever name is this is client name. Consultant, this all you can add it here. Add this similarly, you can add the title of the project or consultant if it is required. Okay, you can change the color of the curve also. Just make the line, make it line, sorry, line, and make it any color you like it just make just select this one border make sort of line of dark blue color i prefer dark blue color and make it round corners okay if it is not big you just now this one now you can see that the progress your progress chart is okay now prepared now you can just make it adjust as per your requirements this is weekly progress curve so it looks like something like congested because it is weekly basis so if you're going for monthly basis it is not that much uh, congested so this is our progress late and early values based on the bq cost and now we can do, do, do the same for the resources. So now we are in the resource tab. Similarly, we just make, as we do before, control A and just make control A, control C, and then just press one, two, three. And then just remove the unnecessary data from here. Delete unnecessary rows. And as I say that our meeting is every Wednesday. So we just remove all other days. See there, we are deleting all the from Tuesday to every Wednesday and just make F4 just press F4 to repeat the previous command in Excel it is very good technique to press F4 to repeat the previous command now this is our project finish 31st December now we have the data with us as you do before just press select your data shift control down arrow and then right arrow select all the data here you see this press control v uh, one and con press control one and make the border all around As you see here control one from previous cost curve we just make this it's also here and then select data and then click analysis express analysis and then this uh, we go chart and line chart this is our no this is our chart base we develop based on the 
early and late values on the resources or efforts. So you just change the project title here. Plan progress curve. So you are really based on resources or effort efforts. In the language of the primary, they call it efforts. Okay, now this progress effort is going to make. Then just make it here. And next, now see we have now progress curve for the board. If you want to make some little beautiful, you just make it in the option and then make the border of any color. I prefer, I like blue color. You can select any of your colors of your choice. Make it on color, something like this. Just make it the data coincide at the end of the data. Okay, similarly here we add the project name, consultant name, something like this. Just copy from the previous project. This is our client and consultant name. And just at the end, end just copy these two data control c press in the resource and just make insert copy cell fill copy here then you remove the unnecessary rows and now your progress curve with the resources and course is ready for submission of the consultant in the next video i will show you how we are going to update this curve every weekly and how how the how which command is easy for us to use it and will help you will reduce your time and easy to monitor so till that time and till next time thank you for your for thank you for your time for watching i hope i i hope that this video is helpful for you for your future work and you and during the life of the project when you're in the project so it helps you to how to up make the progress curve and how to uh, how to develop for the based on the BOQ costs and resources and how to pre uh, and you have to submit this with the with this two document along with the baseline program for the final approval of the uh, baseline program so if you like it please uh, like share and subscribe my channel and i will keep i will try to keep on making uh, more uh, interesting and useful videos for you in future till that time thank you very much see you again bye bye